Now, let, let's talk about technique a little bit. Um, a lot of times, you know, you get through your lesion, whether it's a high grade stenosis or an occlusion. And do you typically avoid angioplasty prior to doing an atherectomy? Or do you want to keep um, uh, as much potential contact for the atherectomy device? Omar, any, anything that you do? Or do you go atherectomy followed by secondary intervention? Yeah, I would say 95% of the time, I'll probably do atherectomy first. I mean, the only time I think I would not do atherectomy is if the lesion is so tight that I can't even get like a small, I, I couldn't, I couldn't get the atherectomy device into, you know, through the, through the lesion. Right. And that's usually that's something like a long SFA occlusion or something like that, right? I may go in with like a tight, like a two millimeter balloon or something, just create a little space to kind of make sure everything goes smoothly. But most of the time I will just do atherectomy or like I would use my algorithms kind of like get through the lesion, IVUS, atherectomy, then angioplasty, then maybe IVUS again to see what's going on and then decide if it needs anything else, like, you know, additional balloon angioplasty or stenting, something like that. Okay. Okay. Srini, you too? What, what about you? Yeah. I mean, I think that's part of the problem, right? I mean, we, we all try to follow the IFUs and I'm sure those are pretty strict in terms of how you're supposed to do things based on their feasibility and safety data. But, you know, in practice, most of us, if, if we need to do atherectomy or some type of vessel prep, we may have to do an angioplasty, like Omar said, to get the device through, right? If you can't get it through, you don't want it to get stuck. So I think mm -hmm. quite a few operators do do angioplasty ahead of time just uh, before they do the atherectomy. But they do, again, low pressure. They usually tend to use smaller balloons than the actual native vessel. I think Omar would agree on that. Yeah. You know, like two, you mentioned two millimeters. That's what kind two, of even go three. Yeah. The thought or, is you want to you know. keep as much contact of the device. Right. I mean, these devices, right. you know, you talked about orbital atherectomy being, you know, going in an orbit. So that creates the diameter. But a lot of these other yeah. devices like rotational, it's only the size of the catheter. Um, I mean, you can do like blades up and blades down on some mm -hmm. devices, stuff like that.